In this quick tutorial, we're going to look at how you can calculate the total resistance of uh, a bunch of resistors in series. So let's take a, a simple circuit where um, you have got a power supply and we have got three resistors all in series. And we're going to call those resistors R1, R2, and R3. Our power supply, positive and negative terminal, and we know that the conventional current in the circuit flows from positive to negative. Now if we have a look at a, and put a voltmeter across the power supply, that voltmeter is going to measure the total voltage. If we put a voltmeter across R1, we'll be measuring V1. Across R2, we're going to measure V2. And across R3, we're going to measure V3. Now, if you remember, um, in a series circuit, the charges, as they move through those um, resistors, they're going to drop energy across each one and we therefore know that the voltage which is the energy per charge the total voltage must be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 so it is shared. We also know that the current must flow through all three resistors and we know that it's the same everywhere in the circuit so if we were to have an ammeter in the circuit right here um, measuring the total current and we move the ammeter anywhere else in the circuit, the current is the same everywhere. So the total current is the same as the current anywhere and everywhere in the circuit. So those two rules are kind of important because what that means is, is that when we look at the um, voltmeters one by one, and we want to determine, um, uh, use Ohm's law to figure out what's going on, then we know that V1 would be I, just the current in the circuit, times R1. We know V2 would be I R2, and we know V3 would be equal to I R3. Now from there, we know that Vt, so the total voltage in the circuit, is just V1 plus V2 plus V3. We also know that V total is I times R total. And we know that V1 is I R1, V2 is I R2, and V3 is I R3. So we can just replace our Vs with that. So Vt would be I RT, V1 is I R1, V2 is I R2, and V3 is I R3. This seems complicated, but it really isn't, because what you can hopefully see is that I can just cancel out all of the I's, and after all of that mathematics, I actually come to a really simple formula, which is to work out the total resistance in a series circuit, all you need to do is add up all of the resistance values. So pretty simple. Now it turns out that if you want to, you can pretty much forget that proof because all you have to know for the exams is how to use that formula. And that formula is given to you on your formula sheet. And you have to just remember that this applies to a series circuit. Now as an example to prove how really simple this is, let's imagine that we give some numbers here. So let's say that R1 is equal to uh, 2 ohms. R2 is 3 ohms and R3 is 5 ohms. To work out the total resistance, um, so RT would just be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So RT would be 2 plus 3 plus 5, which is 10 ohms. So our circuit, which is quite a, you know, not complicated, but you know, it's got three resistors in it. That entire circuit could be reduced down to an even simpler circuit that's got one single resistor in there 
which has a value of 10 ohms. Now what's good about that is let's imagine that we've been asked to work out the current and we've been told that the, um, the voltage across the supply is 20 volts. Well now that we know the total resistance, we could say V total equals I R total. We want to work out the current in the circuit, we just go I is V over R, which would be 20 divided by 10, which is just 2 amps or 2 coulombs per second. So that technique of working out the total resistance is really, really handy when you want to take um, a complex circuit and um, or like that one there for example and you want to turn it into a really simple circuit like that and from there you can calculate things like current and, and voltage etc really really easily.